What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Power Probe, the probe. This thing's pretty awesome. We'll show you what it's about, show you how it works and how it can save you some time. See you guys, come take a look at this one. Here's the box that comes in. You can see it's made by Power Probe. This one's called The Probe. It's a 12 volt test light. Um, in normal mode, when you use it, the light will come on just like your regular standard cheapo test lights. And that indicates that you do have a good ground and 12 volts. When it's greater than 12 volts, it'll light up and vibrate. Um, we'll show you these two features in just a minute. You can't use them on a live circuit, but we'll demonstrate it for you. When it lights up green, you got a good ground. When it lights up blue, you got a bad ground. So this thing's pretty cool. It was around 60-ish dollars, somewhere in that area. Wally and his door leaving opens. <laughs> I was wondering what that was at first. It's got ghosts. All right, so this thing's around 60 bucks. So what we've got here is we've got a known ground and a We've got a light bulb rigged up in a series here. We'll show you all this in just a minute. And Wally's going to demonstrate kind of how it works with everything. But like I say, if it's just a regular test light mode, you see we got to hook the ground. We can put it on here. You mash the button and it lights up and vibrates because it's more than 12, 12 volts. So anyway, Wally is going to show you guys how awesome this tool is by showing you how to do it to make it blue and green from a bad ground to a good known ground. You think these folks are gonna trust me? Yeah. Good. You always trust the greasy guy. Ah! <laughs> Too bad greasy today. Uh, well, where to begin on that right there? You've already kind of showed you can use it as a traditional test light, just like what you were saying. Oh, vibrates, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm gonna kind of show you right here, just playing around. We have, well, gotta press the button. You get it on there. Good ground. Yep. You see if I can wiggle it around there, we get a bad ground to show some blue. You can see it, the blue lights coming on in there. That's me messing that. But kind of show y'all what he was talking about a minute ago. We'll show you the live circuit by our ground. We have power. Right here, we show we have power. Notice it's not vibrating because yeah. now that he's using, pulling the voltage, it's dropped it under 12, you know, under 12 volts. So it's just a lot. Right here with the circuit active, I get nothing. Just activate the circuit and watch me touch them. Good ground. Pretty cool little feature. And there goes the blue again. You can see this from him wiggling it here, indicating it's a bad ground. This is a pretty cool tool. I do wish that they had the digital voltmeter built in it, sort of like the one that Snap-on's got, but I do like the feet, the fact that you can tell if you have a good ground or a bad ground. And it's pretty nice that you don't have to look at it. If it vibrates, you know you're hotter than 12 volts. If it just lights up, you know you're at 12 volts or below. And that's actually kind of cool. Ground, ground, hot, hot. Your traditional test light won't do that. Tells you if it's a ground, if your fuse is grounded, or if it's hot. All right, guys, so that is a look at the PPTACT1CS, or better known as the probe. So this first time we've got a chance to play with it. It's a pretty neat little tool. Um, let me say something that's kind of tricky when you go to use this thing. Because there are some people in this world that do not like to read their directions or instructions. Guilty. That's that guy. All right, when you get it, the battery's not installed. <laughs> so you have to unscrew it. When it comes out and you have to push down on the switch to slide the whole unit out and the battery slides in here. If you don't- Focus, there we go. 
if you don't press the switch in here, this thing ain't coming out of there. And you gotta watch because your little bulb and fuse is there. So just snap it back down in there. Screw that back on. Yeah, I'd have probably broke it. Yeah. That's why we make a video like this so you guys won't destroy your brand new <laughs> test light. All right, guys, like always, check the links in the description. We got some cool tools and discount codes for you. Like always, thanks for watching our video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button because it's totally free. Now, we have got to clean up all this mess and get back to work. So you guys, y'all have a great week.